guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 33 and 34 of Twin Star Exorcist. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 33 and 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see what the hell happened today. Today was so freaking busy for me today. Hmm. You're just different, Mokoro. This is like, like I said, just like you, Tanjiro, um, Ichigo, Naruto, anyone else. Aaron from Attack on Titan. <laughs> But seriously, it is strange that out of all the places, that was where you were found. Mm -hmm. It would be a little too easy. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're so cute. One second. Remember how last week I was really super suspicious about him? I think now, originally with this now, it, it's kind of gone. <laughs> I don't think I'm as suspicious <laughs> as I was last week. I mean, because, like, okay, when Anima, you know, MIA, and he is like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, be in the head, I'm gonna take Anima's place, but, you know, not really, but yes, at the same time, you are, because, I mean, it's hella obvious, and such. Now, with, like, the way this episode started and everything, it seems like, no, he's not trying to, um be 100% like Adima. He's just like, I'm here until Adima gets back, basically. You're, you're basically like a, not a guinea pig more, just like a, a substitute. <laughs> I did like the fact that you know that, you know, Benio went with him. Like, oh my god, their relationship is so much better than what it was at the beginning. If you would have told me in episode one, episode two, that by episodes like at the 30 mark that these two would have a better relationship than they currently did in the beginning of the series that they both would love Sai just like their own child cry over her and everything and then you know Benio is like I want to know everything about you, your past and everything I probably would have looked at you like you were nuts but like no Benio don't want to do <laughs> don't have shit <laughs> she don't want to know shit about this boy like She's like, mm -mm. he ain't marked my time. <laughs> why but this dude gives me like Dio vibes is it just me I mean like he ain't like Dio Dio like on that edge but just like like 5%
It's still complicated. And money is time. (laughs) Poor baby. Oh, is that a pretty Kira Prince song? I feel like that's a reference to something else, too. <laughs> Even though it's just them. Bye bye. Oh my god, it's so adorable. But what if she doesn't want it, though? Teddy bear's cute. I know. Mm-mm. That was shade. Pure shade.
What? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How? Because he was just taken in like a quicksand. He can't be dead. No, 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 no. Okay, now I'm suspicious of you again. There's no fucking way. He was just alive a couple of episodes ago. See, okay, no, no, no. I, I need to, we need to see a body. I thought I was going to burp. Nope, excuse me, there we go. We need to see a body to 100% confirm this. Because, come on now, like, something about this is fishy. Because he was the last one who saw him. Yeah, see, I'm not believing that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's her VA. Because it sounds like her a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's her. Mm -hmm. So in the end, they're going to have to fight each other. Seriously, this is some bullshit. Like, come on now. Like, there, there's no fucking way this man can be dead. So you are literally telling me, from officially as of now to the end of this series, he's not going to show up. He ain't going to be like dude from Monogatari and then disappear and then come back towards the end of the series. I'm like, oh my god, where the hell have you been for umpteen episodes? Like, come on, man. Hmm. 
Hmm? Oh! <laughs> Get close and be waiting for it. Well, you know, that, and he wanted to just visit Maida, because, you know, of course. It could be one of the twins. Well, the only twin that's left alive, because, you know, he, he, he dead. Seriously? And basically got the ass beat. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love her. <laughs> And of course, she didn't care about that.
You wanted him to fall in love with you and be married to you, of course. That's the best thing that you can do. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Oh, well, damn. Something also tells me that in this next episode, maybe, just maybe, Moto, oh, Moto was the one who killed him. I know, right? Just not the smartest thing to do, but you know, A, this is why you cannot mix feelings into work because next thing you know, like you're gonna get hurt or someone's gonna get hurt. But something tells me Moro might end up dying in the next episode. I don't know. But like I said, once again, I am not believing the fact is that Arima is dead dead. He he's just MIA. I don't care I, like even the news that the 12 Guardians all received all at once. And yes, that, you know, Anima Second in Command didn't want to believe it either. But it's just something about it doesn't seem right. Now, unless somebody um, puts in a comment or when this comes out on Friday for my Patreons, like, immediately tells me, oh, hey, like, he's dead and, and he's not coming back, then okay, then I'll understand that. But at the same time, don't tell me anything because I don't want to know anything. But yeah, something just tells me he's just, he's, he's in, in the between. He, he's still possibly alive. He's just stuck somewhere. But there is no body, like, of course, like, physically and mentally, he is stuck somewhere. And he's not getting out until, like, maybe episode 40. Not 100% sure on that. But, like, that's just a big old guess. Because what else can I say? What else can we freaking do? But, like, I wasn't expecting that, you know, the guy that Miku was in love with and the person, the, the girl, that was his daughter. I was thinking that was, like, his little sister or some shit. But no, like, oh. But, yeah, do do not put feelings in work because, you know, she might die. I mean, because, you know, it seems like she can handle her own at the same time. But when it comes to, like, okay, <laughs> the situation like an Akadama Drive or any anything when it comes into business and work and being as a team, sometimes your feelings getting in the way makes you look weak. And yes, because of the fact is the connection is that Moro is the one that killed her father. Of course, her, her emotions are going to go everywhere. She's going to be angry. She's going to be sad. She's going to be upset. She's going to be... She's instantly seeing the color red. She's seeing nothing but rage right now. Now, in this picture right here, she, like it's a little like mm, hesitant, maybe. I don't know. Mm, just embracing, maybe. Like, for impact and ish. Like, who knows what the hell is going to happen next. But this might be the most, like, tense fight for her. And it makes you wonder if Miku is going to help her because it wouldn't be fair if it's just one of them uh, one of them watching and the other one fighting. That's just my thing. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 34.
<laughs> okay, episode 34 in 3, 2, 1, go. Of course. For her, that losing her dad is the most devastating thing. Losing a parent and finding out that someone went out and killed your family member. Yeah, you're going to do everything that you can to go find whoever, you know, did it. And beat the shit out of them. Maybe even killing them. But sometimes killing that person or whoever will not bring your family member back. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. I really like the fact that they're getting two episodes focusing on them because they were out of all the tall guardians besides you know Shamlin because you know that man oof that boy man looking like a necker like yes mm. <laughs> like a like a Walmart version of Neku but I still love him um he just seems very interesting to me and and of course I want to know about them but same thing with these two like it, well, the one thing that I like about this show is that this series still gives other characters who are not the most important um aka the main main characters the one who are like really carrying the entire 50 episode on their backs um so of course even if they're not carrying the entire series on their back they still get time to develop Mida, you know because like like i said in the beginning i thought Mida was going to be this type of character because i've seen it in like typical kind of certain animes and then shown in animes depending on what it is where it's the potential quote unquote love interest and we don't get to see her all the time and such this was like really really old like shown in anime and some older animes where they're like okay here's a love interest you know a couple episodes later she's gone and then here you go like episode 10 or whatever here she is again and it's just like okay we at least need to know what the hell she's doing instead of being like a background character for the next few episodes. I'm just saying. Because it's the one time where she can prove to herself that yes, she can defeat Moto and avenge her father. But see, something also tells me, like, Sada might possibly know it in her heart that she may not be able to defeat Moro. Not by herself, but she needs Miku's help, though. And I need Miku to, you know, get in there and do your shit, please. See, now, like, she got muscles, and she's kind of scaring me. I mean, like, the last time I saw a muscular-type woman was at the Apple Store years ago. <laughs> and that was when, like, me, my dad, and a whole bunch of other people were trying to figure it out. But then we figured it out. It was, she was a woman, and I was like, okay, cool. But see, like, Moto right now, she has, like, a little too, too much. Oh, that 
Exactly. Putting your emotions inside of a business. It's not good all the time. Of course. I mean, well, yeah, 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 but like at the same time, Miku, you, you are short, and usually some people who are short so look like little kids. Oh. The fact that she still has it even now, that's so sweet. How her leg also scared the shit out of me. Uh uh. You just look at her. She scares the shit out of me now. Like, uh uh. No, bitch. Mm, no. I hate to be walking somewhere and see her and be like, oh, heck. No. Oh, God. You know she's not gonna go anywhere though, like because she's she cares for you, she's gonna try to do something. <laughs> you did, no matter what. I know, like, you, you are too tall for her now. I mean, do you know how short she probably could be? Like, she probably five feet, and soccer is probably, like, six. But you can't do this by yourself. I get it. You are a 12 guardian, but you're going to need help. I mean, yeah, she is right. You can't be stupid.
I hope so because you know. Oh, that's adorable. I don't know why, but that's giving me sucker punch vibes and I love it. <laughs> oh, God, I missed that movie. I might watch that tonight. Well, that clown will kick your ass, boo boo. <laughs> Oh, you were just a distraction. Mm, that's smart. Nice teamwork, though. Well, you know, sometimes you are right about the fact is, hmm, feel like somebody going to die, and then what happens? They die. I'm not surprised. But at least you accomplished your goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? I can't. I'm hungry now. 
I would say that. <laughs> He'd probably leave after. But seriously, that is a fucked up way to go. But I understand it. I thought he was just going to like heal her and that she would have been fine. Because it seemed like, you know, because it was obvious Moto loved her, loved him. But I don't know if he kind of reciprocated or, you know, was the same way as her. Hopefully you get that by the end of this series where, you know, you don't have to worry about doing this anymore. Oh, <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> She might die. Because something about this just doesn't feel right to me. And then because like her eyes. Uh oh no no. Because everybody's all controlled. Yeah. So hell in the end. They may all die by the end of this um arc. Oh, you got your ass, babe. <laughs> exactly. You could have woke her up. And she would have got stronger with you. Exactly. You can't do everything by yourself. You repair. Exactly. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Wait, is he?
Hmm. Oh, come on! I mean, you're already here, so it makes the most sense. But, you, you know, you have time for Maida, right? Because, you know... <laughs> Shimon, you, you like my dog. Oh, there's motherfucker. I told you he was coming back. I said it. Mm -hmm. Bruh, they all dead. Japan. Eh, except that area right there. But damn. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. They all might be dead. Like, straight up. No, no ifs, ands, buts are about it. They all by straight up be dead. But I don't think that's gonna be it. It would be a little too easy to kill everyone who is currently now being possessed sent to our, you know, our current newest big bad until, you know, Benio's, you know, ex-brother comes back and says, hey, you know, I'm back. Bullshit and everything. Um, this is a very interesting episode. I'm glad <laughs> Shimon is going to be with the group a little bit because, I mean, he, your girl would like to see a double date, even though I don't really think that's going to happen because, like, in a way with this, we don't really have the most, like, perfect time to have you know like a date date episode again i mean earlier in the beginning yes because it was kind of a must for like <laughs> rocco and benio's training but um at the same time it's kind of like a it, it's more like a maybe like it could really happen we just don't really know if it's going to happen or really I don't know if it's going to happen. You guys who are, you know, watching this with me every single week, y'all probably know what the hell is going to happen next and it's like that. But, you know, me, I have no freaking clue. It's just also guesses from, like, the sneak preview in it. And, and like, sometimes, you know, you never really know what the hell is going to happen from a freaking sneak preview because sometimes it's, like, little to none. But it was, it's nice to see him as a transfer student. Didn't think that that was going to happen. But, I mean, I'm glad because, yeah to all be together. It's sweet. Of course he's gonna come back, but I'm guessing since, you know, this one of the spider twins, because the other one is officially dead, um, this might be, like, for the puppeteer-wise, for episodes 35 and 36, yes, 35 and 36 might be his final two episodes, so I felt like he's going to officially die next week. I mean, because it, it would make the most sense to go ahead and kill him off. I mean, you know, hell, I was right about Moro dying today, because the the way the preview kind of, like, built it up, it was like, okay, like, she's just been introduced in episode 33 it would be smart to go ahead and kill her in this next episode hell i've seen so many other different shows do that in the past as well but it's sometimes where it's like you already kind of know when it is that character's time to just like yeet it's time for you to just straight up die even if it's a character that you really truly care about and you're like okay no like please for the love of god don't kill this character but then this you know the creator of the series is like oh i'm killing everyone including the main characters you thought it wasn't gonna kill the main character because just because they're maybe the main character doesn't mean they're gonna survive and it's and then blessed the fact is how i still feel about the audio situation situation because like i said i don't think he's truly dead i could be right i could be wrong i don't know i don't want to know so yeah please don't tell me but other than that it was a really good episode for both of them very enjoyable but other than that guys that's my reaction view towards episodes 33 and 34 of twin star exorcist if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for episodes 35 and 36 bye guys